Sam, first and foremost, welcome to Reading Football Club. How long have you kind of been aware of the, the interest from the club? Uh, so I've, there's been a couple of conversations that have happened over the, the off season. Um, and then it was as recently as a couple of days ago where it became a lot more concrete and things have moved quite fast. And uh, here we are and here I am. And you kind of gave yourself that option, really. You know, you were at Colchester for five years. You'd had, a, I guess, a good time there all in, met, met a lot of good people and uh, kind of took the decision to, to sort of see where your career took you. And here, and here you are. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I made the conscious decision um, to, to turn down the contract with Colchester and I wanted to go and uh, challenge myself, um, ideally at a high level. Um, and, and, you know, it's worked out really well for me to come to a club such as this, a uh, massive club with a lot of history um, and big ambitions. And I'm, I'm really pleased to be here. And it can't harm to if, you, if you're aware of the, uh, the manager and the manager's aware of you. You're just saying there that you're uh, you're very aware, well aware of Paul Clement from your time at, at Chelsea. Yeah, it was a while, it feels like a while ago now. Anyway, um, and yeah, he uh, was my youth team coach for a period of time, and then reserve team coach at, at Chelsea. Um, he obviously went on to work with the first team, so did a bit within there as well. So um, it was a long time ago, but I'm uh, very much looking forward to. We've had a few conversations over the phone, but looking forward to um, catching up and working with him again. That must be one of the incentives to come. And uh, what other things kind of drew drew you drew you to the club? Well, the, you know, the, the club very much speaks for itself. The facilities they've got here at the stadium and, and down at the training ground, um, and the ambitions of the club as well. You know, big club with with ambitions to to get back um, towards the sort of top end of the championship, and then ultimately the Premier League. So um, it, it was a very easy decision for me to to come down here and join uh, Reading. And we all know that uh, goalkeepers too are part of a. You know, you've got the goalkeepers union, and when you've got a, another goalkeeper in the sticks like Vito Manoni, who's sort of seen it and done it with Arsenal and thing, and Dave Besant, who's, you know, he's kind of uh, his reputation speaks for itself. That that can't harm as well, can it? Yeah, exactly. I've I've been fortunate enough to work with uh, Dave only, albeit for a few months, while I was on loan at Bristol Rovers earlier in my career. Um, so I know of Dave, so I'm looking forward very much to getting in uh, and getting down to business really, and and obviously meeting Vito and the other goalkeepers and. Um, you know, sort of learning from them what I can and, and having my input as well and, and getting down to business, like I say. And as, a, as in terms of a goalkeeper too, you're still pretty much a young man, I think 26 years old, yeah, but you still played a significant amount of football league games, over 250 or so, I believe. So you kind of bring in actually a lot of experience here already. You probably learned a lot on the way. Yes, exactly. You know, I, I made quite a conscious decision when I was a, a, a younger man, sort of 18, 19, that I wanted to go out and, and get my experience and get my games. Um, and yeah, like I say, still, I uh, feel, feel like a bit of an old man with the amount of games that I played in the football league, but uh, in terms of age, still at 26, I still have, you know, a lot ahead of me and, and a lot that I want to achieve, and, and and you know, this is why I wanted to come and, and challenge myself at, at that higher level um, and, and work hard and, and see where it takes me. And during those sort of five years over in Colchester, you were, I know, yeah, there one in one year where you spent a lot of time injured, but the other four years, you know, you were pretty much ever present. And uh, I guess this year, you know, you've got a bit of a different scenario. You've got to, you've got to make sure you're going to be pushing Vito for a place and, 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 and see where that takes you, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's going to be a different situation for me. I'm used to playing week in, week out. I've, I've played, um, like you say, every, every week that I've been fit, I've played and, and um, you know, played a lot of games at Colchester. So it's going to be a different situation for me, one that I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, actually. Um, and, you know, working with Vito and pushing each other and, and, and challenging like the rest of the other goalkeepers and uh, you know just can't wait to get started really. Mm. And obviously during your younger days with Chelsea and I guess during your time with Colchester too you'll have come across teams from higher divisions you know the Championship Premier League and things and I guess that you know being amongst that in training each day will be a, a really big factor as well. Yeah hugely you know like I say to, to come to a high level to, to challenge myself and improve myself um, with and against better players at, at higher levels you know we've obviously had Plenty of games um, at Colchester where we've played against high level opposition, played against Reading in the League Cup a few years ago, actually. Um, and then obviously when I was at Chelsea as a youngster, playing with those and training with those sort of high top, top level players, um, you can learn a lot from them. So that's uh, certainly something I'm looking to do here. And lastly, you could, you know, I assume today's a case of finalising everything and tomorrow will be your first training session, I assume. So I guess you're going to be meeting a lot of new faces and one or two familiar ones as well? Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, uh, a lot of uh, medical type things going on today and, and getting the signing done. And then, yeah, th you know, that's the bit I'm looking forward to most really is getting in in the morning and, and getting down to business and, and having that sort of first training session, meeting, meeting all the lads. Um, yeah, I do know a couple of them I played with Callum Harriet a few years ago when he was on loan at Colchester um, and John Swift as well was a little bit younger than me but know him from my time at Chelsea so yeah looking forward to catching up with them and, and like I say meeting all the lads. Well, very warm welcome look forward to seeing you in the shirt suit. Thank you very much appreciate it.